Some good news in the fight against COVID-19 as the positivity rate for tests is down to 2% and Michigan is now in the lower 10 states of cases per capita. Joining us with the very latest is internal medicine specialist, Dr. Abha. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Deanna Brody, thank you both for having me. Good morning. This is huge news. Uh, lower than 2% positivity. I believe the state's goal was even higher than that, 5%. Can you tell us where we stand now and what this means for the future? Certainly. Good morning. So typically when we talk about uh, relaxing, uh, you know, the restrictions on gatherings, we're looking at a 5% or less test positivity rate. And we are indeed in Michigan down to 2%. And we should be so very proud of these efforts as promoted by our, you know, in, in Lansing, our governor telling us, I would like to relax restrictions so long as we push this effort of masking, distancing, and vaccination. So yes, Brody, it's something to be very proud of. Most definitely. And let's talk just a little bit, you know, about your work through all of this and kind of where you're at with patients, what you're hearing um, as we continue to make these steps forward. Absolutely, Deanna. Um, I get patients on the daily who say to me, I'm still thinking about it. And classically with our 20 minute visit, they walk away resolved because a lot of the questions or hesitations surrounding this vaccination effort have been so global, national and blaring that they haven't really taken the time to have a one on one individual conversation. And that's why we exist. And we know through uh, articles and papers in the medical industry that the best way to understand uh, COVID-19, the vaccination, is through your primary care doctor. And so we are tirelessly working, fitting in issues like hypertension, diabetes, and uh, you know anxiety with the conversation about uh, vaccination. So to answer your question, Deanna, absolutely. On the daily, I'm finding that I'm having these really important, vivid conversations with patients who are still curious and willing to openly discuss the importance of vaccine. So as we approach July 1st, when we, rest we loosen restrictions for what's happening here in the state of Michigan, I do kind of want to have a better understanding of what's next. I mean, our goal is to obviously vaccinate 70% of the population or more. Where do we stand now? And what are your goals here in the coming days, months, weeks? Absolutely. So over a dozen states already boast of that 70% or higher first jab. Here in Michigan, our 65-year-olds and older have achieved that 70% rate as well. Uh, we still have work to do in the lower deciles. But Brody, imagine uh, the, the quicker and faster that we achieve this 70% immunization status, the more prepared we will be entering the fall and winter. Yeah. Make no mistake that variants and mutations will proceed and abound if we do not outpace this virus. And the only way to do so is to say, I'm part of this fight, I understand the imperative, and I'm going to get that jab. And getting that jab should not be an eventuality if we want to continue to open the state, our borders with Canada, and our, our travelability ab abroad. So um, I'm asking that everybody understand that don't be eventual about getting that jab, do so today, so that in three months time, you have built ample immunity uh, and have outpaced the possibility of mutations and variants arising.